Okay, hey, what's up everybody? So today we're gonna talk about health bars. Uh, I made a simple scene here, and I'll just show you kind of what I ended up doing, which my health bar ended up being a stomach. And um, she's asking me if I can help her either fill up her health or empty her health. And depending on what I choose, it refreshes and fills either fills up the health or empties it. Um, and you can also make it so that when it's full, it plays sound effects or does animation, same when it's empty or you know sends you to the end screen whatever you want to do so let's take a look at how i ended up making this so here's my simple scene and in the tools resource manager i made a folder under graphics and pictures called health bar inside there's just two images uh, one is an upside down version of the health bar going from red to green and the other one is the outline of the stomach that i'm using uh, the reason why they're upside down, I'll explain in a second. Then I created a common event. And inside the common event, I have something called a health bar folder with a health bar inside. Picture one I put at something crazy for 10,000 just so that that number doesn't interact with anything else in the scenes later on. And 10,000 is a high enough number that I probably won't ever get to that on my images. Next was the outline, which again is upside down. So within there, everything for the outline stayed the same, but in the show picture, this is where the actual health is done at. First thing I ended up doing was the Z order to make sure that it stayed on top of the outline. I changed the visual type from image into tiling image. And what that allows you to do is then, if you go from, instead of auto onto set, you can change your width and your height. One of the nice things about changing your width and the height is you can either do it by number or you can make them into a local or global uh, variable. So I ended up making my height, which is what I want to change into a global number. I called it health bar, which you can just do by simply adding you know, health bar two if you wanted two of them or whatever, it adds it down below for you. The difference between the global and the local is global interacts with everything outside of the scene that you're creating within the title menu, within the end screen menu, anything can be a global. Local is specifically within that scene that you're creating. So if you go to another scene and you still need your health bar to show up, it's not gonna show up because you didn't put it into a global, you just put it into local. You'd have to recall it every time for every new scene. The other thing is once you call your health bar, you want it to run parallel with anything else that's happening within the game. So usually this one is checked off, make sure it's checked on. Uh, I know you can't really see them, but the other two that are only checked are the single instance and the auto preload. So before you define your position, if you just go to direct, and you click on the numbers, you'll see your, your image upside down still. Because of the way that Visual Novel Maker is designed, it, it only allows you to remove tiling in one specific direction, and you can't control that direction. The only way you can control it is by which way your image is facing. So because Visual Novel Maker is weird, it starts taking off from the bottom to the top, so if you were at 50, your bottom part would be empty, but your top part would be full, which is the opposite of what we want. We want the bottom to stay full and the top to be empty if we're at 50%. The only workaround that we were able to find out was if you take the image that you have, if you right click on it and go to properties, you can change the angle of it. And if you set it to 180 degrees, it now flips it back upright. And if I go and add the same number, to the image. <clears throat> now they're overlapped on top of each other. You can now see that my health bar is facing upwards. This is the part that it took off and it will keep taking it off from the top portion all the way down to the zero. So how do you control how much percentage your health bar has? You just use your global variable. So if you go and set a number variable keep it on variable and you set your variable to your health bar, whichever one that you created in global, you can then set, add, or subtract a value. And so if I set the value to 50 for my health bar and then call that health bar, it sets it at 50. If I wanted to start my health bar at 100, I could set the value to 100 and show the health bar and it's at 100. Same if I wanted to go lower, you get the idea. How do you add health and how do you subtract health from your video game? 
So I made a simple add a choice for this character. And if they choose to fill their health, it will go 100% full. If they choose to empty it, it will empty it. And one thing that's really nice about Visual Novel Maker is the only way to refresh this image of the health bar is just to recall it as a show picture. So uh, everything on the show picture stays the same. It's still the you know tiled image set to the global health. And the only way to refresh it is just by adding it into the timeline here. If you're starting off with a 50% and you added, and you went down here and you added a value of 50, even though it's refreshing on your screen here, it won't refresh in the game unless you have the show picture uh, there to refresh it. It will basically look exactly like this, even though you've added that 50% to it. And if you ate some food and you only want to go up 10 points on your health bar, uh, then you could just add a value of 10 to it, and that would add your 10 to your, you know, whatever your current health was. This is fine if there's no time limit involved in your health bar going up and down. Uh, I've done it in a way where every, you know, 20 seconds or so, it jumps down five points on the health bar. And you would just do that by running another common event for the health bar that basically, you know, sets it at a certain amount and then, you know, waits add a weight to it of, you know, 2,000, so that's 20 seconds. Call another number variable for the health bar and subtract a value of 10. And then you would just keep doing that further and further along until you reach zero and then once you reach zero you can have a, a picture show up or the game end or that one life is now lost and now you only have two remaining, whatever you want to do. So let's say if this health bar reaches zero, you don't want to see the health bar anymore. So if you lose the fight and it goes down to zero, it'll wait a second and then it will erase everything. And then you don't have to have it there. And then you can call that common event of the health bar to come back later uh, once you eat some food or drink some water or whatever the case is. And again, all I did was create a common event called erase health bar and inside of that just erase the two photos. Again, this would be something that would have to run parallel with other things happening. Um, otherwise, it just pauses for the erase, which is fine as well. So that way is fine if you need your health bar to go uh, up and down. But what if you need it to go from left to right, like a normal health bar up at the top? So. I basically just created this scene, copied and pasted a lot of the same assets from before, but I changed the uh, progress bar. And what I changed the health bar to was this just test easy one. Um, because the size difference is different than the health outline one that I did before, the percentage values change for the number variables. So what do I mean by that? Even though this value is set to 300% right now for the number variable for the help bar 2 that's going to pop up, if you take a look at it in scene, you'll see that only 50% of the bar is showing up. So if I understand that right, it's 300 pixels of that image are being shown, not 300% of that image, if that, if that makes it clear. So right now, that value number is for pixels. It's not for percentage of the overall image. So you'll have to know that ahead of time, either tweak the size of your image so that it correlates correctly to the values you want to set, or find out what the 100% would be. Is that, you know, a thousand? Is that equal your 100% of the image is now going to be shown? And if that's so, then do the math for, okay, if it's going to start at a thousand to show the whole image, what percentage would be half of that? You just have to keep playing around the number figure out where your middle is, figure out where your end is going to be at, and figure out what your 100% is going to be. And then saving those numbers, you can then go and tweak those within your settings. It won't always add up to being, you know, 100 equals 100 of the image, sadly, unless you really resize it into the correct way. So that's my quick tutorial on health bars. I hope this helped you guys out a little bit and helped kind of figure out how to use health bars and, and what you can do with them. Um, I have more tutorials coming out later on, so keep an eye out for those. All right, have a good one.